Huntsville, Alabama. We are here at, what's the name of this place? I don't know if I see a name on this place. I don't know. Some arena here in Huntsville, Alabama. With no name on the wall, which is very strange. Oh, wait. TOC, maybe? Yeah. TOC. It's the Ortho. The Ortho. Come on. Can't be the Orthopedic Center. <laughs> the hell is that? Oh, it's a marker, isn't it? Some kind of marker? Oh, so you know how wide to put the chairs. Uh, clever. <clears throat> well, it says Orthopedic Center. Which would be kind of strange, right? If that was the name of the place. But maybe it is. Maybe I don't, I don't know. Anyway. Uh... It's about noon 15, so we're not supposed to load until 12.30. I have a feeling that some days it's going to be 1 o'clock. It's going to be really late in comparison to just, you know, being in at 10 a.m. every morning or 11 a.m. But it's just the way it's going. They're not uh, super fast getting their stuff up in the air, so... We just got to roll with it as the opener. But it just means, I guess, I get to sleep more or sleep longer. That's all. I'm mosey on up here and see what the concession areas look like. So I know you're all dying to know if they have popcorn here. You know, if they don't, if you watched my last video, I showed you the local market I went to and saw all the different popcorns. I mean, a little too too much for me, but uh, I didn't buy any of that stuff. I bought uh, Necessary Evil or something like that, it's called, with sea salt, which is my backup plan for them not having it here today, but we'll see. I do see a popcorn machine, which gives me hope. But as we know, in the past, some places have them but don't use them. But you can see it's empty right there in the back. So we, we might be we might be in luck. Maybe this guy knows. Do you know? Do they do they pop popcorn for these shows? Yeah. Sweet. All right. Thanks. We got a confirmation that they do pop popcorn for these shows. Oh, look, there's even a big picture on the menu up there. Look. <laughs> we'll see if Huntsville, Alabama can beat out West Virginia. All right. Well, uh, there you have it. They, uh, they do have the popcorn maker. The guy says they are making it. So we will see. I'll keep you posted. Just an update, I figured out the name of the place. It's the Von Braun Center here in Huntsville, Alabama. The Pearls Center. Anyway, I just thought you might like to know that. That's where we are today. And it's 1.41 in the afternoon and I have not set up one drum yet. So as soon as they're done with this, you move, you move the I guess this would have been a clue of what this place was called. Alright, I'm going to find popcorn. I know they have it. Here we go. Alright, moment of truth. Oh, I see it. Can we get it here?
Hi. Hello. Can I get a popcorn, please? Just popcorn? Yeah. You working I, here tonight? I am. I'm on the tour. I uh, I try popcorn everywhere we go. We made it fresh. I know, because so. I checked out the empty machines this morning. Are you dead? I'm like, okay. oh, yeah, they have it. Not all, not, not all, all places right. have it. Select a box for me. All right. Then I rate it on my YouTube channel. Okay. So we'll see how you guys rate. Okay. Right now. It's zero. Which you no, but West Virginia's yet. in the lead right now. Oh, okay. Uh, Charleston, West Virginia. Okay. Uh, what's the YouTube channel? I'll look it up later. Uh, Pete Abdu. What? Pete Abdu. Okay. P E T E A B D O U. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, she wanted to know what the YouTube channel was, so she can check out the rating on the popcorn. And I got some popcorn. And we're gonna try it right now. Ooh, this is really good. This is very good popcorn. I gotta say. Well, I'm really happy about this. Wow. You know, I have to say that. West Virginia. Charleston. This is just very, very, very close to Charleston. And um, I know it was freshly popped because I saw the empty pop makers, popcorn makers earlier when I was here. So, um, man, I think, it, honestly, I think it's a tie. Um, I'm not going to judge it yet. I'm gonna wait till I'm finished and then decide. Stay tuned. Good morning. We're in Biloxi, Mississippi. And uh, we're at a place called some kind of Coliseum. A place called the Locker Room right there. I'm not sure what that is. But uh, it is about 10.30. I think. And Frankie Benjamin is loading in and setting up behind me. There is a big event going on outside along the water. Oh shit. There's the rain. There's the rain. I don't know if you can hear that over the camera, but <clears throat> this is what we were waiting for. We were hearing thunder. And now, wow, it sounds like static. It sounds like pink noise in a PA. Let's go look. Oh, I see wind too. Wow. Big storm coming through. And I feel bad. There's, there's outdoor, there's people outside. Uh, setting up a concert, like I said, along the water. And right now, they're getting slammed. <clears throat> I haven't had my coffee yet. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. <laughs> yeah. nice and cool in here. Anyway, last night I found some popcorn in Alabama and uh, I told you I'd rate it. So, turns out it was good but it was a little salty. Upon first taste, it tasted really good. And then as I dug deeper and ate more, I realized it was just too salty to beat out Charleston, West Virginia. So, sorry guys. Charleston's still the winner so far. I'm not doing top three, top five, any of that bullshit. It's going to be who wins the whole kit and caboodle. Ah, look at this rain. I'm running down the windows. 
Anyway, uh, it looks like they serve it here too, so I guess Mississippi will get a chance, but here in Biloxi. <clears throat> How do I know? Well, if this is any indication, food and beverage, token popcorn. So if that's any indication, I would think they have popcorn here. All right, I'm gonna go get some coffee and uh, talk to you all real soon. Thanks for watching, bye. festival or something going on over here. All right, y'all know what time it is. Going to find popcorn. I saw the stand earlier, or at least the sign earlier. We'll see if they actually have it. They're starting to let people in now, as you can see here behind me. They're rushing to the front of the stage for the big rock show. Let's go see. Oh, yeah, I see it. <sighs> Get a little, a little thick around the neck here. Too much popcorn. Should be a napkin holder right down in the very end. Oh, right. Enjoy the concert. One, two, three. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Already losing points, and I'll tell you why. <clears throat> Seven bucks for this tiny ass little popcorn. Well, let's see how it is. I mean, they got points for freshly popping it for sure. But, no, it's pretty good. But, as usual, I'm gonna have to wait to rate it. So I'll let you know. We are in Biloxi, Mississippi. Trying the popcorn. I'll be back. All right, guys. Well, it's a quick assessment. This popcorn is definitely not as good as West Virginia, Char uh, Charleston, West Virginia. And it's kind of just like last night's popcorn. A little salty. A little too salty for my taste. Um, I'm glad they popped it here fresh, but I mean, it's definitely edible. And it's good. It's just pretty salty. Anyway, uh, West Virginia. Charleston, West Virginia, still in the lead.